Hey guys, here in this video, I'm trying to explain what exactly user data is. So user data also called as um, bootstrap scripting. So whenever you are launching an EC2 instance, you can find an option called user data. So here, let me quickly select this launch instance. So I want to be within free data limitation and I'm going to select Amazon Linux AMI and T2 Micro, which comes under free data eligibility. So when you scroll down to the bottom, when you expand advanced details, here you can find user data. So this user data, also called as bootstrap script. So whatever the commands you are going to give here, it is going to execute when you uh, when the instance launched for the first time. So for example, so you have an EC2 instance, you want to make that as um, a simple web server or else once that instance is launched you really don't want to get connected and you really don't want to update the operating system so you can simply give that commands here so then you can continue with the wizard so when the instance launched automatically the given commands is going to execute and we are going to get the output so just to demonstrate that i'm going to launch a linux instance and i'm going to give a simple bootstrap script so this is a simple um, uh, bash script so you know for bash we need to give shebang exclamatory slash bin slash bash so then what are the commands you want to give if it is a windows machine like you can give powershell so i'll try to explain that also so okay so i have uh, initiated bash so then what is the command you want to give? So I want to update my operating system with latest security patches. So yum update iPhone Y. So then I want to install HTTPD package. So yum install HTTPD iPhone Y. So then I want to start the service, service HTTPD start. So then I want to make that as a login service, chk config. SDPD on so like if you want to create however I'm making this as a simple web server like I can um, create a simple index.html file or else you can get that file from an S3 bucket and you can copy here so but for demonstration purpose so I'm okay with the default Apache uh, web page so I'm just installing here first I'm updating my operating system so then I'm installing a package called SDPD then I'm starting that service and making that service as a logon one. So this is again optional one. So let me continue. So again, all the options are same. Add storage, 8 gigs. So here I'm going to add a name tag. So this is a PSS web server. So like bootstrap script web server. Click on next. I'm selecting an existing security group, which is open with port number 80. Then only I can um, show you that output. Then review and launching by using a key pair. Of course, I'm not going to get connected to this EC2 instance. If we configured this correctly, we should get um, output from this instance. So if you want to verify what exactly user data you have given for this EC2 instance, select the instance, go to actions, under instance settings, you can find view or change user data. So here is a user data we have given whenever we are launching our instance again if you want to edit this so you need to stop the instance and you can test that okay so here our instance is in running state so i'm going to give a minute to execute all the commands so meanwhile i'll demonstrate the same for a windows instance with a TZ util. So as we know, all the uh, EC2 instances, uh, all the Windows EC2 instances is going to run with the uh, UTC time zone. So but I really don't want to go with the UTC time zone. I want to set an India standard time for all the EC2 instances. Again, for that, we really no need to log into each and every instance. You really no need to edit all those settings. Whenever you are launching an EC2 instance, you can pass a simple PowerShell script to edit that and automatically it is going to set up the time zone okay so probably this should be executed by this time so i'm going to get the public dns and i'm giving here there you can see i got this amazon linux ami test page see i have not connected to this ec2 instance so bad 
automatically what a based on this user data by using this user data it got updated the operating system so that it installed a package called stdpd that is a, a apache web server package then the service got started so you know so this is user data for linux operating systems so we have uh, let, let me quickly demonstrate with windows also so free tier eligible only so i'm going to select windows server 2012 r2 base t2 micro and i'm scrolling down and expand advanced to details so here you can get the user data so i'm going to initiate the powershell so then what are the commands you want to give you can give all the commands so uh, for time zone and all so like uh, we can use a tool called uh, tz util is a command so i'm going to give that command tz util then i'm going to set the time zone as india standard time so then i'm closing the powershell so let's continue with this add storage 30 gigs so this is windows user data test so i'm launching using a key pair Okay, so here is my Windows instance. So as we know, Windows instance is going to take uh, three to four minutes to get the password. You know why? Because easy to config service should come alive and uh, uh, when you try to get that Windows password, it will give you, okay, you need to wait for a minimum of uh, four minutes. So, Let's wait. Okay, so let's try to get the Windows password. So get Windows password. I have got as a key pair, so I'm going to browse that key pair. Decrypt the password, so I'm going to get connected to this EC2 instance. So if um, our uh, bootstrap script executed successfully, so you know, we should, um, we should see Indian Standard Time in the DC2 instance. I got connected to this EC2 instance, and here you can see it is showing Indian Standard Time, 8, 10 p.m. So, so you know, so be, uh, just because of the command we have given for this instance, the user data. What are the commands we have given in form of user data? So that is executed, and the DC2 instance have. Um, instance is set with indian standard time zone so that is um, all about the user data so we have another type of data that is metadata we will discuss those metadata in our um, next video so i am going to demonstrate with the same um, uh, instances so thank you